Hi, my name is Alyssa Grantham. I'm a research assistant here in Boston. I work in neurobiology. I work in a screening facility, so I help a lot of investigators develop assays. I do lots of plasma purification and viral work. So in particular, our lab focuses on nociception. We're focusing on amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and we're doing drug screening to try and help patients with this disease. Our lab has a lot of interns. We like to involve a lot of students throughout the year. Our lab gets up to 50 people during the summer, and sometimes their investigators are too busy to inform them on how to use instruments. So with this instrument, I feel like it makes the process a lot easier. I think it's really novel that the machine has a touch pad integrated into the machine. It makes it so there's no bulky computer and desktop. Everything's in one place. And if you have questions, even the manuals are integrated into that software on the machine. I feel the auto measure makes sampling faster, easier, which can be helpful after doing a long plasma purification. I'm working with an investigator on a project that involves lots of DNA work. We do maxi preps probably four days out of the week. The products of those maxi preps need to be nanodropped right after so we can use that to make lentivirus for our work. Compared to the Nanodrop 2000, I'd say this machine is just sleeker in appearance and in functionality. Everything's in one spot, everything's saved automatically, which is great. You end the experiment and everything's there even if you don't, you don't have to think about saving it, which is great. So if you forgot to write things down or if you write it in marker that can be erased with ethanol, it's great you can go back and see what your concentrations were. And I like that it numbers which samples you read, because if you have 20 all lined up in a row, you can lose track of which one you were reading at the time. So if you can just look and say, oh, number five's up, you know what's next. I think an instrument like this would help us further our research because it makes work faster and it definitely shows you when there's an error. If a little light flashes up with a little yellow triangle, that should be noticed. So that would be really helpful to me that since I'm doing so many of them, if I can just say, oh, if something's wrong here, I can go talk to the investigator and figure out what's going on. The nanodrop is essential to knowing how much DNA we need for transfections. It's pretty much a staple part of our process.